artist I'd like to introduce is someone I met, actually met him through his manager, Mary Novak. And she has become such a great friend uh, to me, and I really, really appreciate you. Um, we belong to the Chicago Songwriters Collective, and um, she reached out to me. She sent Craig's music over. I listened to it, fell in love with it. She invited me to an event. I went, bought the CD, and had it on play for like three or four days nonstop. So I know the words to the music. So I mean, I really, really appreciate his music because he sounds like me um, in, in this respect. I'm a storyteller. I like telling stories, weaving stories in my music, things that are relatable. And Craig does the same thing. He does it beautifully. I was just shocked that he was so tall when I met him in person. But he's a great guy, sweet spirit, um, great music, great artist. I'm going to let him introduce himself through his video. My name is Craig Scott, and I am adult alternative. I actually grew up in South Florida. Uh, I've been in Chicago since late 2008, uh, but I definitely look at Chicago as being my new home for sure. I think I knew I was going to be in music at a very early age, uh, but I, I started becoming very active in music in my late uh, teen years. I uh, started recording, formed a cover band, started playing with other musicians, and then uh, fortunately I released my first EP of original music in December 2014. Haven't looked back ever since. I'm inspired every day. I listen to music every day. And I'm inspired every day by all different kinds of music. Uh, music. And if I, go, if I go way back, I mean, there's, there's too, many to, too many to name. But I listen to uh, music from the 50s and 60s, and I listen to music, a lot of music of today. There's a lot of talent, I think, out there right now. Um, so yeah, I'm inspired every day by musicians. I, I go out, I listen to a ton of live music um, for enjoyment and, and to learn. Well, I, I think the, the, the power of music has always been the connection and the way it can make someone feel. And uh, um, when, I, when I write my music, I always look to, to make that connection with someone, to make them feel uh, good or bad, and it doesn't have to be what I was feeling per se when I wrote the song. But I think if I make them feel um, and connect through my storytelling and my songs, then, then that makes me feel really good that I can make the connection and go out live and play the song. And best part of being a Chicago artist is, is without question the community. The music community here is, is really, really lights on. It's, uh, I, I've always admired, much different from where I'm from, I've always admired being able to go out to a, you know, a bar in Chicago at one or two o'clock in the morning and you end up seeing one of the baddest trumpet players or one of the greatest blues guitar players you know, that you've ever seen. And uh, just in these, these small clubs here in Chicago. And I, I just have a lot of appreciation for it. And I don't think there are many other music communities um, out there. I think they're numbered uh, that you can get that as good as Chicago. Just the history behind the city is just great. Well, I think musically speaking, I, I want people to know that um, I, I enjoy for the, the hour or two that I play uh, in front of someone, the music, I am incredibly vulnerable and I enjoy it. I, you know, while it's, there's a scary uh, part of it, I actually really enjoy it and I, I hope that uh, people go on the ride with me and uh, enjoy the stories, enjoy the melodies, uh, enjoy the connection. I mean, I, I've been incredibly blessed so far um, to, to see the connection being made and people have been very receptive to the music. So I, I'm encouraged, I'm inspired, um, and, and I just want people to know that I take it very seriously. It, it comes from within and um, I have a lot in the works that I really look forward to and uh, I enjoy the journey very much. Good evening. Real, real pleasure to be here, really. 
please, please uh, show your hands for these voices of angels that we've heard so far, for sure. This is, uh, this is a tough feat, tough feat to follow. So yeah, I'm going to play a few songs uh, from, from an album I released in, uh, in December 2014. And uh, people always uh, give me grief. I very rarely write about myself. Um, I write about everybody else, so be careful what you say to me tonight. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> this is one of the few uh, songs I did write that made the album that is uh, a little bit more on the autobiographical side. It's called Imperfect Man. As we take this walk inside You're far too beautiful To ever turn off the lights Let's play your emotions What will be To be the type of guy that lets it all happen naturally. And I don't want to have to ask permission. Give me a chance. It won't be perfect. An imperfect promise from an imperfect man. Your red wine tongue. My sudden loss of breath. You hear the sound of my heart beat. friend of mine uh, where I grew up, his, uh, his partner ended up, uh, to make a long story short, had uh, some migraine issues and some health problems and, and got prescribed pain medication, uh, which ended up resulting in uh, a problem with addiction. 
and uh, was and, and unfortunately still is um, suffering with it. And, and I, I had a phone call with this friend on a Saturday night and I woke up uh, Sunday morning um, incredibly moved um, emotionally, very much emotionally by what was going on. Um, on a, in a small perspective and in a, and in a very big way as well, just because I know it's a very uh, common thing we hear about today. I think probably most of us in this room know someone directly or indirectly that um, is suffering with it. But the side of it that we don't often give enough thought to is the side of the other person. And in this case, it was um, her boyfriend, long time. And what that person wants to say and what that person feels. Um, and instead of victimizing each of the people, we just want to express ourselves. And so I, I, that Sunday, I went home, uh, came home and, and I, uh, I sat down on the couch and it was the easiest song I've ever written. It just, it came out of me. And um, it's a song I wrote from his perspective, but the song is more about love and um, the unconditional love that we can have for someone and um, the acceptance that we can have for people that I believe very strongly in. And it's a song called Full of Diamonds and uh, Regina requests that I play it this evening. So. Tried to give you flowers, but you were missing. I tried to tell you be better if you knew what I was feeling. And I know, I know that it's hard to put away and make a new start. It's a smile like no one that I. When you touch me, it makes it so hard to forget. I got a dream when we're old, we'll watch the sunset. But when it's morning, I feel like I'm alone instead. And I feel like I'm sinking down. get along but it seems you already gone but you're full of diamonds that's what you you like the bad boys is it true I heard the world's worth living if someone loves you too much salt is gonna make the water boil too soon my heart is racing and I don't know what to do and I feel like I I know that you wish 
you were cold as snow So you wouldn't feel a thing I love, I love holding your hand But I fear, I fear you don't know it's me You don't know it's me Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Regina, very much for putting on this wonderful event, huh? Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. So this is the last one I'm gonna do for you all. It's a song called Sometimes. Uh, my name is Craig Scott. I'm gonna be hanging out, obviously, for the rest of the evening to listen to these wonderful voices that are a whole lot better than mine. But I'll be uh, in the back of the room later on uh, to hang out and chit-chat about music and all the stuff that matters to us in this room. So thank you so much. It's been far too long since you've fallen in love So I guess this'll just have to do So can we pretend that I've already said everything you wanted me to to make you mad. No, I'm not what you had in mind, but I, I'll be fine whenever you feel like the best is in reach. It's time to wake up from the
Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you.